my dudes. It is not Monday. It is Tuesday. We missed Mimosa Monday. And by we, I mean me. I missed Mimosa Monday. That was my fault. Uh, technically, I'm going to blame it on the Taurus because yesterday I had to go to the grocery store. I had to go to Whole Foods and I had to go to Publix. And the fact that there were 10,000 people there, nobody seemed to know how to uh, maneuver shopping carts or cars or their bodies. So it took forever to get through with absolutely everything. And by the time we got home, or I got home and we, I got pu uh, public subs and it was like 4.50 by the time I made it home. And y'all, I was starving. I was like hangry. And so a live stream at that point was just not going to work. So I apologize, but my stomach came first yesterday. I needed to eat. And so that's, that's what had happened. The man will be here at some point, I believe. Ah, speaking of, I just heard the door open. So he is showing up now here's a microphone my sir my good sir if you will <coughs> why why is that the <laughs> is that the beginning of a song it sounds like the beginning of a song what's the one where he does that where he coughs <laughs> i can't do it <laughs> that's not it i don't know how it goes there's a thing that's not it but anyway so hopefully you guys um weren't waiting around yesterday waiting for the live stream i apologize if you were but it's been a very Busy couple days. I didn't get the bottle out. I didn't know if we we're gonna go with the prosecco. Did you cook the peppers? No, I have to cook them later. But so I that's cut just up the peppers. Them cut. Yeah. So I cut up peppers and onions. We're doing spaghetti tonight. The kid asked for it yesterday. So let me clear my throat. Sarah got it. So um, I cut up peppers and onions right before this started. I have the ground beef in the background and some noodles and then the sauce. All right, gotta get the sauce out before I forget it. Hold on, wait, since we're sitting here having this conversation. This is the sauce I will be using. It is not organic like I want. And it turns out it's not gluten-free. I figured that out the last time we ate spaghetti and my stomach said, right, whatever. But it tastes really, really good. And it's what I used in the lasagna soup that I made a couple times. So we're gonna use that for the spaghetti tonight. And it's going to be effing tasty, just so you know. So there's that. They smell good cut. The peppers and onions? Yeah, they do. They do smell good cut. They smell good cooked too. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The dog is on the couch staring at us. Look, hold on. Let me see if I can pan y'all over to Max. Can y'all see Max? He I think you can. He's creeping. He's just sitting there staring at us. You see him right there on the corner? Ignore all the shoes, but there's the dog. Just chilling, staring at us over the back of the couch. Normally, he'd be over here. Y'all know how it works. He comes over here and hangs out, but he's over there today. So anyway, um, I think this is up too high. Let me drop this a little bit. Ew. Too much. Good? Good? All right, good. So um, I would like to start this off with just as a reminder to everybody who may not know that for those of you who want to order the perfumes from Hervé Lucindy that we've talked about a bajillion times over here because I am obsessed with them and love them beyond all belief, um, Jess, who is one of the owners of the Hervé Lucindy, she has made it so that if you make a purchase and you put Squirrel Tribe in the memo section note section i don't really know where it goes um you get 30 percent off just as a fyi heads up for those of you who want to save a little money but also smell absolutely amazing it's kind of a win-win she um this is a this, is this that's the good this, one is this male is this male or is this uh unisex i think it's unisex but you make it smell real masculine I, I like got, it. I got a lot of gym sweat on me. There's that. There's, there's a little gym funk happening for between the two of us. I'm not even going to lie, but it's worth it. And it's not nearly as bad as it would have been if I had not put on some perfume beforehand. It would have been rather difficult to sit in a car together with the door closed. So there's, um, hold on. There is a Josh Prosecco that's cold in there, or I put the bubbly one in the freezer to get super cold if you want to switch between the two. This one's been here for a few days. Uh huh. Yeah. So we'll go with that one. So the Andre Brut, the the extra dry that we normally have for Mimosa Monday, has been sold out of every single place I have tried, and it's because it's um, tourist season and it's the cheapest uh, champagne you can get. So everybody's buying it. But they had the Barefoot Bubbly on sale for the same price at Target today, so I picked up four of those. Um, and this and this restaurant. It's the restaurant grade stuff. Somebody. Yeah. It's a different name, but yeah. it's the same. It starts with the M, but I don't remember exactly what it is. But let me tell you guys, so Sunday we went out. Did you put up that video yet? I don't know what video you're talking about. On the boat know. on Squirrel Tribe Life? You recorded some boat stuff on Sunday, didn't you? I did not put it up. Okay. Uh-uh. Well, so heads up. Um, we went out on a boat on Sunday. There's a live. 
Sort of like you know, yeah. Yeah, we did the live stream on your channel for a little I, bit. I know that's that's all I got. That's oh, all. okay. I, I mean, I, no, no, that's all I got up so far. Like, okay, okay, that's what he said. Um, so we went out on a boat on Sunday. Our friends Mary and Patrick, the ones who used to own Chipper's Barbecue here, they had a bunch of family in town, and so they rented a <laughs> pontoon. And they Patrick went out said to, he's friends with McDonald's. He used to as a yeah, kid. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah, the 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 founder of McDonald's. They used to hang out together. And they'd make him try all the stuff. Yeah, make him try all the stuff. So he's the first one to have like double cheeseburgers and Big Macs and all that stuff. Carry on. If I was friends with the founders of, of uh, McDonald's, I'd weigh 2,000 pounds. I would be on that TLC show. You're going to F that up, y'all. Y'all see him trying to pretend like he has ever been a server in his life or a bartender. Serve these. If only there were some nuts I could throw up on the screen right now. But when you pour that orange juice, you better calm yourself. Calm your tits. Calm your tits, my dude. <laughs> that sounds like the anyway um so we went out sunday so mary and patrick they had family here and mary was like hey you want to hang out on a boat and i was I like cool like so we don't so we got a boat and we went out but sunday it was overcast and it was very very windy very, and very, it was very, very. chilly and so we took a boat out anyway just he and i because the kid did not want to go she was being uh, a bum she didn't want to go so but it was cool we got a little date day a little bit so we took a boat out to crab island and um i didn't get in the water because he got in the water to anchor the boat and do everything he he manned up sacked up if you will because that water was too cold it was not going to happen for me but he he got in did you ever flow I'm so proud of you. Look at you. It was literally, like sitting, it was literally like sitting on the front seat of, of a bench seat of an old Ford F100. Yes. No, it was great. I got to put my arm around him. He had his hand between my thighs and we were just chilling. Not, not like doing anything weird, but we were just chilling on a boat and it was nice. I mean, I captained it on the way out and that was a lot of fun. Uh, he captained on the way back. Oh, captain, my captain. And it was very enjoyable. We had fun on Sunday. And then what did we do? Do we go out to eat Sunday? What do we do Sunday? Y'all, days run together and I have no idea because it's been spring break here. The kid went back to school today. We thought she was supposed to go back yesterday. She went back today. Um, maybe we did Domo. I don't know. Maybe. Is that what? No, that was Saturday. We got sushi Saturday night. Oh, it's so good. I love sushi so much. I don't No, We came home and I cooked chicken on Sunday. Okay. Right. I don't know everything. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Um, this is way earlier than normal and it's not Monday, but if you guys have anything to drink, whatever it is, just can't be an empty cup. Let's go ahead and, uh, toast to the coming week that it, or, you know, the rest of this week, that it is fabulous. Fantastic. Got another F word. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> That's not it. Great. <laughs> Great. Yes. That you guys have an amazing, uh, week last week of march before easter how about that and then if you are traveling for easter that you are safe and traffic doesn't get you and family doesn't piss you off so there's that so cheers well we solved two of those problems yeah <laughs> say hi to my mom she's <laughs> you said we solved two of those problems i only mentioned two problems <laughs> which is uh traffic and family so we were going to go home for Easter home, Georgia for Easter. But we realized that one, the kid can't miss school in order for us to go to Georgia for Easter, she would have to miss a day of school. And that's not something we can do towards the end of the school year because she's going to miss some days later on anyway. And we need it to not put her over. Right. But also driving six and a half hours on a Saturday when everybody else is driving to go somewhere and then sit through Atlanta traffic to spend one night, have one meal, and it was either turn around and come back Sunday at, you know, 5 p.m. and not get here till hella late and still sit through crazy traffic or come back Monday, kid miss school, still sit through crazy traffic. Unfortunately, it's not it's not I don't want to say it's not worth it because that sounds awful. Right. Because it's family. But it the cons outweighed the pros on going back to Georgia for Easter Sunday. So we will be here celebrating um i think maybe i'll dress up as a easter bunny just for shits and giggles <laughs> um really surprise the kid you know what i mean i don't know what we'll do we'll cook something and chill <laughs> but that's that so let me let me just real quick i want to say before i talk about the kidnapping thing um we're leaving school today we had the kid and 
There's a lot of there's a lot. Happening. There's a lot of really stupid people. It so starts at the school. It starts at the school, unfortunately. There's a lot of really stupid people. So we pick we do the pickup line, the car pickup line, right? She doesn't ride the bus. We pick her up. And it's like this surf this like snake kind of thing of getting into the school. And the school for some reason has decided they're not gonna have a a cop or a traffic director after school anymore. They have the crossing guard person, but no nothing else, right? So traffic is awful, it takes forever to get in and out. It's just it sucks. But then today, for some reason, people behind us in the line, after we've already gotten the kid and we're trying to get out into the main flow, they seem to think that people were just sitting there because they wanted to, not waiting on traffic, and they just decided to try to go around everybody. Two different cars. No, now, here, they, first, they break the rule by get, making the kids walk through the traffic. There's that. But here's my problem. Here's my problem. Um, actually, I have a few problems. Yeah, One, I, I, I have a little bit of road rage. Two, I have a very small um, uh, uh, span for dipshits. And three, I am perfectly fine making a scene when a scene needs to be made so people can learn their lesson. Um, oh, is that what you wanted? I wanted so badly. Is I that? wanted so badly for somebody to try to get in front of us, and I would just been like, listen, your bumper touches my bumper. That's on you. Is that what you wanted? I like, got insurance, boo boo. <laughs> like, you wanted me to show the video of the people staying off the dunes? Is that what you wanted? Oh, no. Oh, so, no, there's so many different things to talk about. Oh, I'm so glad we're having this conversation. So, but no, today, people were stupid, right? So then when we go to leave, we end up at a, it's not even a three-way stop. Let me try to explain how this works. So we, we need to get to a light that's right here. Well, there's a stop sign here. There's a stop sign coming this way. And then traffic coming this way doesn't stop. It's like a continuous thing. But the light's right here. And we all need to go this way. These people need to go this way, right? But there's stop signs at both parts. Well, the light turns green and everybody and their flipping mama forgot what stop signs are and they all just start going. And it's like, um, I'm gonna need you to stop right now because if I'm trying to turn into that far lane because it's my turn to turn in this you know, technical two-way stop and I need to get all the way over there, but you have forgotten your stop sign and just decided to pull out and you happen to T-bone me, two things. One, I can't say it, but bodies will be hard to find. Two, I have insurance. It is what it is, and I will, but I don't understand people. The, the second the light turned green, it's like they forgot all other basic driving rules and said F it all, and just, and I don't understand. It's like, you guys are adults, and there's kids in the car, and this is how they learn how to drive, and then we wonder why there's so many accidents and deaths at 16 when kids get their driver's licenses. It's because they watch their parents do really dumb shit on the roadways. This part of Florida? People don't use stop signs. Like Grand Boulevard. Wavy they, barbecue. They never stop at stop signs. <laughs> I they they never stop at stop signs. No, that's true. People never use stop signs, and it's absolutely ridiculous. They just, they just roll through. So, Sunday, on the boat, y'all. There's this oh, place called... Oh, you talking about the near T-bone? No, I'll talk about that in a second. I gotta go back to the dunes. So, Sunday... I'm trying not to chew in your ears, but it is what it is. Sunday... We go to this place called Nor Norego Point. It's not Noriego, it's Norego Point. And it's where the... Is it? No. Okay. Noriego Point. It's where the harbor, the, um, the gulf, and the bay all kind of intersect. It's like the best place in the world to go sit and watch all the boats and do all this stuff. Is it Nor Noriego Point? Okay. So we're there. Just like Kevin, you were right. You weren't wrong. So we're there and there's these dunes and there's a fence all around the dunes with signs every five feet, every five feet that say no walking on the dunes. Do not walk on the dunes. Right. So this area. It's not a good picture. That's the proposed with the crossover. Oh, it's not a good picture. OK, so either way, there's these dunes with these signs that say do not walk on the dunes. Stay off the dunes. There's a fence up around the dunes, everything else. Well, these people have rammed their boats up on the beach like you're supposed to. You know, that's what we were doing. We were there with Patrick and Mary and their family. And we look over and they're all just climbing over the fence and walking up the side of the dunes. Now, I'm not going to make a scene because this is, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's scene worthy, but I was, I was having, I don't know, it's not PMS. I'm guessing just, you know. Normal people syndrome. Yeah, Where me. you prefer people, people to follow rules. You know, protect and, the area but, that you live in. Yeah, that. That they are more than likely probably just visiting. Yeah. So here's here's the thing. 
these are the dunes. That is the sign, keep off the dunes. And there's the fence that people climbed over to walk up the dunes. Now, let me, see, see, see those morons? And it's children that parents are letting them be stupid. And then the parents are also stupid. And there's just a bunch of stupidity going around. It, it, and look, if my child had done that, please understand, it would not have ended well for her. But so I am a passive aggressive Karen sometimes. Let me just put it that way. So this group comes down the dunes right in front of us, right? And as they walk by, start walking by, I loudly proclaim, I can't wait until they finish, you know, everything they're building since, you know, all these people are too stupid to realize they're supposed to stay off the dunes, even though the signs are right there and the fence. You would think if you see a fence and a sign, you would know better than to climb on the dunes. Yet all these dumbasses keep walking on the dunes as they walk right past me. Now, they got my point. I didn't have to confront anybody. I got to passive aggressively tell people they were fucking stupid. And it made me feel better. I don't know if it made them feel okay or not. I don't really think they cared. If they had cared, they wouldn't have walked on the dunes to begin with. But I felt better after I, you know, said what I needed to say. So there's that. And the good news is I was not wearing a Squirrel Tribe shirt because then I would have had to stand there like this because this is where the logo normally is. Stand there like this while I called them stupid. It looks like I'm doing Pledge of Allegiance. That's what I need to start doing. Anytime I need to just completely lose my shit, I'll just be like, I pledge allegiance to the flag and then finish that out and then be like, and you're a moron. Huh. I don't know if that's doable, but I feel like that's where we should go. So the other thing, so huh, driving home, we are on a six lane road and this is our main, our main road is six lanes, three on one side, three on the other. And we're into the traffic area. And this car is trying to turn from going this way to turn into this restaurant over here across three lanes. Well, lane one is stopped. Lane two is stopped. Lane three is coming up and they're turning into the exact same thing. At the exact same time, this person decides to turn in. Y'all, they were like this close to each other, this close. It was right there. And I was like, oh, that's going to hurt. And the car coming out where it got yeah, hit. Yeah, the car coming out would have got hit too. So the guy in the black car did not even see what was happening in the third lane, just decided he was going to floor it. And it could, if that guy hadn't been turning, it would have T-boned the passenger and that would have sucked for whoever is on the passenger side because the driver's an idiot, right? With his head up his ass. I assume it was a guy. <laughs> um, so it turns in and then the, the silver car, so it's a black car turning in, silver car turning from the way we're going. And they're like this close to each other and they both slam on the brakes before they can, you know, front slam into each other. And then the black car just takes off like nothing happened. And the silver car is just sitting there like, you know, maybe they wet their pants. I probably would have peed myself. I'm not even going to lie. So that's that. That's all just so many stupid people. It's only just begun. I know. It's, I mean, yeah, it's true. Because it's early. It is early. It's going to get so much worse. We're normally not here when it's completely stupid, but anything's possible. I mean, this summer we'll probably be here more than we were the last two no, summers. Why people got arrested yet? I was about to. So there's a place here called the Palms. The kid and I went to it for a, um, a women in business thing one day. It was, kind of, it was interesting. It was fun to watch or go to. But these people at 345 in the morning decided they wanted to trespass or something. I don't know if they were actually there, staying there, but they were called, the police were called because they were trespassing, a husband and a wife from Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee. I don't remember which one. One of those three, not here, okay? So they're at the Palms and the police are called and the police are trying to get them to leave and they're not leaving and they're being belligerent, whatever. So one of the police officers goes to arrest the female. The female is like fighting back. So the police officer puts her on the ground so she can be arrested. And then the other person, I don't know, I don't know if it was the husband that assaulted the police officer or not, but either way, shoved the police officer and everything else. So now you have two people that were only going to have, you know, a little slap on the wrist for being drunk and belligerent and not leaving to now felony police officer assaulting, getting arrested at 345 in the morning. Just stupid. Why would you spend money to go on vacation to act a fool and assault police officers and get arrested? It, it does not make sense to me. Well. Well. Did you watch the full video? Of the lady who got pulled over with the golf cart? Not the entire thing. <laughs> she said, do you know Bobby Wagner, who happens to be the mayor here? He's like 22 years old. He's very young. I don't know how old he is. And he goes, man, we don't have a mayor. Well, actually, he's then. Like, he's like, we don't have a mayor. You're, you're thinking about Destin. Uh-huh, because that's Fort Walton where she was, or Miramar or whatever, where she got pulled over. But what was interesting is Bobby Wagner actually commented, he said, I don't know that woman. 
don't bring me into this. <laughs> the mayor commented, don't put me in this. So there's, there, there's a lot of people here who like to drive golf carts that are not supposed to be on roads that are over 30 miles an hour. I know, not over 30 miles an hour, I think, but um, they keep taking it on the 45 to 55 mile an hour six lane highway like a bunch of morons. I'm gonna use this word a lot today, I she guess. She would've got pulled over and towed, even on a, a road that was allowed, because it wasn't registered. Mm. So she gets pulled over and she goes, middle, middle aged white lady, and she goes, I'm not privileged either. I worked very hard for everything I have. And it's like, ma'am, nobody asked you if you're privileged or not. But the police officer that pulled her over is like, I understand, truly I do. But as somebody who says you live here, you should know the rules, you should know the laws, you should know you can't be here, you should know this and that. And you didn't hear a little girl. The little girl was the one driving. The lady showed up to like try to help her. Uh huh. And the little girl was like, oh, I didn't know I was supposed to do my homework and learn all the traffic laws before I came on spring break vacation. Wouldn't you want to know what the laws are before you go somewhere? Oh, they were real condescending to this cop. And this lady, she was on something. I mean, she, I've seen the video. She was on something. Maybe she's a day drinker, I like mean, a super day drinker. The tow truck guy was there. It's going to be like $400 to tow this. I agree with Kay. <laughs> it's going to be like $400 to tow this. She's like, well, we got to go get eggs. Like, she was asking the tow truck driver to take her over to public. <laughs> before. You're like, ma'am, that's not how this works at all. At all. But there's been so many of these golf cart bandits running around like they have no... Uh, I personally, even if it was street legal, why would I want to take a golf cart onto a major road with big ass cars that are flying past me? That does not seem safe. And then you see the ones who throw children in the back of them. They're called golf carts for a reason. Those I don't know when we decided vacations. that them being outside of the golf course you're made vacations. sense. Two sheets to win. Yeah. You saw the, did y'all see the thing about the, um, the two parents who fell asleep on the beach, completely passed out drunk? It wasn't here. I think it was Fort Lauderdale or Miami. Passed out on the beach, completely drunk, and their kids were just left to roam on their own. When the police got there, they could barely wake these two up. They were so hammered. And they got it. He literally just ran into the counter like it hasn't been in the same place for two years. It wasn't us. No, it was not us. I put up a video the other night. And uh, I, I had opened up this Eagle Rare, mm -hmm. and, uh, and somebody says, man, I would watch Kevin, but he's always drinking. And somebody said, he sipped it. <laughs> plus, I, didn't even, I didn't even finish it. Plus, um, you see him for 30 minutes um, I, every wait, couple wait. Of days. So wait, wait, which one is it? You would watch me, but I'm always drinking, or you do watch me to know that I'm always drinking, which... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so... I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, there's this girl, I've got a video here. I'm gonna show you the video. I'm pretty sure I can get away with this. It's on NBC News, but I'm gonna show you guys this because this to me that's, was- That's gonna get you um, demonetized. Can I show a little bit of it? If you show any of the physical violence, uh, you'll, it'll turn yellow. I was just gonna show him running at her. So I can't do that? You could probably do that. Well, let's see what happens. All right, so- but If he makes contact, but he does make contact. It was yellow. And he like drags her. That's a yellow. All right, so I need to put the video Like if you watch it. like even UFC fight uh, channel people. Freaking YouTube, They man. use still shots. That's true. They use still shots because they can't show. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll, like this entire live stream, no matter how long it is, you show that for a second, yeah, and YouTube's like, we're not going to pay you for it. Yeah, YouTube won't let you won't let us show you literally anything that's happening if it comes to any sort of altercations or whatever. So let me tell you about it, and then I'll and put the link. And if he's got a gun, here I'll put a does link. Does he have a gun? No, nah, not that I saw. So you, got, you can't show guns on live streams either. Not that I saw. So copy. Let's see if I can put it in the live stream. So don't leave, but I'll put it here, um, and then I'll put it in the pinned comment later. But this um, lady or this, this girl is walking up the, the stairs to her apartment, and this is in Queens, New York, walking up the stairs to her apartment with her back to the stairs, because that's how most people do. You walk and you know maybe you'll look behind you, but you're at home, so you don't think about it. And this masked guy comes up, and this is a teenager that he's going after. He runs up to this girl, this teenage girl, and grabs her and starts pulling her down the stairs. Mom is inside the apartment, sees what's going on, and realizes her daughter is literally on the verge or in, in the process of being kidnapped by this masked dude 
runs out and like tackles him in the stairwell and saves her. But she fought him down four different flights of stairs, like to get her daughter back. And I saw this and I was like, man, please understand that that is defending myself and my child. And that person is not walking away. N not at all. You try to come after my child. You put a single finger on her and things are going to end horribly for you. Just, I'm just saying. You don't want to say anything? <laughs> what do you want me to say? Oh, I don't know if you're worried about even saying stuff like that. No, I'm, what, do you, what do you want me to say? I don't know. So according to this, Adriana Alvarez fought a man down four flights of stairs in her Queens, New York apartment building after he tried to kidnap her 18-year-old daughter. The fight was caught on camera and the suspect has pleaded not guilty. Sir, you're on camera. Um, NBC News is Because George I was trying to give her a hug. Oh. It was National Hug Day. Yeah. So I put the video up about, uh, about it. So I can't show you. That sucks. But either way, I... I try to tell my kid all the time, our kid, that when she's out and about walking around, not Definitely. to have her head down in her phone, pay attention to what's going on around her because you never know who's going to run a stop sign. You never know who's going to cut around traffic to go past you. You never know who's going to cut through three lanes of traffic without looking and T-bone you. Like you have to pay attention to things and especially walking and even in our, our apartment complex, walking towards the door, you've got to keep your head on a swivel because you just never know what's going to happen, who's where. So you have to be very cognizant of what is going on around you. And you would think in your own apartment building that you'd be safe, but obviously not. Well, I, I would have never thought that. I would I would have never thought that. Well, a lot of people will. So I feel I would, I would, like ours is safer because it has locking doors because we don't have open breezeways, which is another reason why we pick this place over other places because there's no open breezeways. Those to me are very, um, less safe when we pick up one of the kids friends we take her home she lives in an apartment complex we park when we drop her off so i can see her walk to the elevator and get on the elevator by herself like full line of sight I mean, we're not leaving until i see her get in and those doors close with nobody else with her whatever else and then when she's upstairs she lets our kid know that she's in her apartment or whatever um because you just never you just never know these days but if the mom had not been there and did not have the ring doorbell and it hadn't gone off i don't know that this this story would have ended completely different. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Quite possible. The I'm the violent one between the two of us. Rawr! Just so wrong. That's why he's like, I'm not. I don't have anything to say. He'd do what he needed to do, but I'm. I'm no, good. she's vocally violent. Oh yes. I'm silently violent. I'm both. Actually. I would never let people know. Besides the little six T-shirt, but. I just, you know, we're sitting on the beach and she's like, I'm going to be passive aggressive to these dune walkers. And I'm thinking, OK, I'm going to put my phone down and be ready to punch somebody in the face <laughs> like that. Like, that's it to back that's, me that, up for my passive aggressiveness. That's it. Like, good I'm not going to sit here and talk about it. I'm just be like, all right. Well, well the good we news go. is I didn't have a phone in my hand, so I was already ready to punch somebody in the face. <laughs> just so we're all aware. Violence is never the answer until it is. So that's my next T-shirt. <laughs> No, I think violence is the answer. Sometimes, for sure. Some people don't learn unless there's a little bit of violence introduced to the situation. Well, I mean, violence is the answer. Like, legally, sometimes violence is the answer. Like, you know. Okay. Sometimes it is. I know. You're right. <laughs> okay, said my kid's gas is silent but violent. Get it? <laughs> Get it? All right, what do we have over in the chat over here? We got a lot of stuff happening. So let me just see. Let me say hi to everybody since we're here. So hi to Sarah, obviously. Hi, Sarah and Kay. Shannon's Art Gathering. Hello, Manella. Hello, Denise. Denise. Uh, Lorena, mother. Hello, mother. Um, not Lorena. Hello, Red mother. Dragon Lady's mother. Hello, father. <laughs> All right. Hello, Beth. Um, we've got Kimmy D. We've got Hiccups. Um, Amanda, Catitude. What's up, Catitude? Um, I don't know if it's Tariq or Tariq. Tariq. I don't know. But thank you for behaving yourself in the live chat. El Musa? Maybe it's Tariq. Is that how he spelled his name on the T A R I Q? I K. I, I don't remember how. I think it was a K. I don't know how to say your name, but. It was Tark. And then Meredith. Hi, Meredith. How you doing? We have Anna Cleland, D. Washington. Hey, Michelle from Georgia. What part of Georgia, D? Uh, Washington? Washington? The Washington, uh, Amy Maine, and we've got Karen Davis. Are you from Susie Appalachia, D. Georgia? Huh? I don't <laughs> even Dawson, know where that. Dawsonville is considered Appalachia. Why would you go with 
Okay. I just um, read a whole article on it. K, I do this every time. K Toki six six. I don't know how to say your name, but I appreciate you being here. And we've got Tracks and Relax, Gil Garcia, Dragon X, which you've told me your name and I don't remember because I suck. Um, we've got who else is in here? I said Susie D. Hi Tavia, and Let It Burn and Rebuild. Okay. And Donna D B, and Susan Brown. Who else? Denise Bal Balanon. Maria Craig. Hi, Maria. Who else we got in here? When's Maria coming? Maria is coming here. June? June? She's coming in June. Shatika. She's coming and in Marvin. June. And Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Marvin said, by the way, um, he and said, well, 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 what have we here? Hello, folks. Oh, so she's coming in June. And she's I not, think so. I don't know. She's not going to the Black Bear Bakery. No, it sucks. Um, Kim in Mexico. We've got D. Stowe. What a strange hobby. Go on vacation to get arrested. Can you imagine if you're like saving Mac? Hi, Mac. Um, can you imagine if you're saving up all your money for vacation and people are like, man, that's a lot of money. You stay in some place nice. And you're like, no, I'm staying in a shithole, but I plan on getting arrested. This is my bail money. No, no, no. People do that. Oh, Marvin said it's not that you drink. It, that's important. It's what you drink. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, well, Marvin, I took a picture for you, but then I didn't know how to, I forgot to email it to you. It was at the liquor store at ABC and it was literally maple syrup. It was called maple syrup which is what you always refer to it as, but obviously it's bourbon, but it said maple syrup on it, and I thought of you. Um, I think I said hi to Karen Davis already. I don't remember. Blanca Howard, Rebecca 1111. Oh, oh no, it reset. Hold on, I lost myself. I don't know where I'm at now. Shoot, stupid YouTube. Let's see. Um, Tell Marvin. Okay, say Marvin. their name. <laughs> Tell Mar Marvin, I don't drink a lot. I drink a little. I drink a little. You're an idiot. Um, I don't know how to say your name because it's just letters. Z-S-D-D-F-R-T-Y-U. I assume it stands for something, but I don't know. Um, Tiana, Tiana, Tiana Scott, Crease Crazy Life, Deborah O'Barr, Allison, T and V Journeys, Kimberly Turner, Jane Doe Letty, Melissa Seckley, Jeep Girl, what's up? Um, Jeep Girl says, my hubby got me a t-shirt that says, live, love, and laugh. If all else fails, lock, load, and fire. Oh, hey. Tell your hubby to send me one. I want it. Um, Alonda Witten, Wendy Smallwood, Fran Stokel, Mac, again, hi. Nadine, Lori Pritchett, Brad Chandler. What's up, Brad Chandler? Dawsonville is where Bill Elliott is from. Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott? Is he a, a, a race car a gas car guy? Okay, that's what I thought. Um, we've got Maria said June 4th. I knew it was June. Pam Danz Danz Danzison. Pam, I butchered your name. I'm sorry. Maria Williams. Who else? Patty Van Bend. Y'all, I need you to have easier last names for me. Y'all know I suck at words. Uh, Gail C. And USA One. Jim Aspire. Okay, I'm good. I got everybody. Made it. People go on vacation with the intention of getting arrested. People go on vacation with the possibility that they may get arrested. <laughs> like uh, Ben Wiki and his stories with the gumball runs. Those guys knew. They knew. Oh, yeah. No, that's different. They knew, like, it's a, it's a chance that we're going to get impounded and go to jail. Yeah, that's true. In some podunk Look, town. It's all gravy, baby. In it's some podunk gravy. town. Yeah, that's true. As we race through across America. Yeah. So next time I'm speeding and I get pulled over, I'll just be like, no, I'm on cannonball run. I'm, do I'm trying. Do not do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't, officer. Don't, don't, I didn't know I couldn't do that. Don't do it. Don't do Start it. crying. Squeeze a pack of ketchup between my thighs and be like, oh, no. If it's a guy cop, I'm doing it. I'd be like, look, sir. I'm no, 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 no. Just no. really gross him out. You get pulled over, you're like, you're like, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, Bobby. Do you know Mr. Wagner? Well, it's not like I can be like, hang on, Sleepy Joe. Because then they'd be like, get in the car. Get, get in the back of the cop car. <laughs> yeah. You're going to jail. It's fine. Not a big deal. What was the other thing? There was something else that happened. When? Where? I don't remember. That's why Just I Just give me a you. hint of something. Life. Sometime during life last couple days, week, so, I don't know. Mas por favor, gracias. The restaurant, the food hall. Oh, yeah, so they did this thing here at Dustin Commons where it was called Beach, what was it called? Beach, Beach Burner. Beach Burnout, something like that, and it was like old cars. So they had like, um, they had some old Bel Airs, they had old Stingrays, they had a really, really old Challenger. You don't need to say gorgeous. old Bel Air, just say Bel Air. Be okay, that's true, because there's no new Bel Airs. Even though if they brought a new one back and it looked like the old one, I would buy it unless it was electric, and then I would tell them they're idiots. Because um, there's certain cars that don't need to be electric, like a Mustang. 
Anyway, not the point. So there was all these, these cars and food trucks and whatever else. Thank you, sir. And um, the food hall here where our friends PB&J, Philip and, um, yes. and Jess Bauer, they own PB&J in the food hall. Maria, keep that in mind when you come here. Busy day, tons of people. I mean, it was gorgeous out. There were probably thousands of people at the, at the commons and the food hall closed down. They put a sign up that said they were closed for maintenance because they were having issues with their gas. Hashtag sorry. I was like, um, one, I feel like if you're having issues with the gas, maybe everything should be, you know, pushed away and, and nobody should be here right now. But they missed out on so much money at the food hall that day. It, it sucks for the small businesses that are in there because everything in there is kind of a one-off. None of them are chain anything. It's all mom and pop restaurants in this place. And so for them to close on a Saturday, sun, on Jess a Saturday. and Philip don't have any kids. No. You know what? I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, it's still I'm a just mom saying. And pop. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's still a mom and pop, even if there's no kids. Philip's, um, a, Philip's the guy that I would randomly run into when I record videos. He's just running through Destin all the time. If anybody wants to know who Philip is. Um, Lisa says, I live in Baltimore. It was terrible. Still processing the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing. I actually talked about that. I did a live stream this morning on Squirrel Tribe at 7.15. Y'all, it was rough. I had just woken up. I had had enough time to make his coffee, make my cup of tea, saw what was happening. So I have glasses on, morning face, morning breath, morning voice, looking like a whole bag of dog shit on fire. And was like, screw it, we're going live anyway. But I need to do an update on that later. No microphone. So, no microphone, just yelling at the, at the phone. Woke the kid up 30 minutes late because I was busy on YouTube. It, it, it was fine, not a big deal. Um, Traveling with special abilities. Did you get new champagne glasses? We got these a little bit ago. We still have the blue ones that Beth sent. They're in the other cabinet over there, but they hold a little bit more and I didn't want too much. So this is easier for me some days to make sure I don't do too much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bye, K. K Talk. I don't know how to say your name, K. So K Talkie 66. Have fun at your appointment. Um, yeah, so that was that. But we noticed a difference. One day we go to the commons and there's five people. The next day we go, there's 5,000. So things are picking up significantly around here, which is nice. That's what I was going to tell you. So I don't think she's watching. I don't think she watches this channel. We have she a, might. We might. But either way, we have a acquaintance. I, I want to say friend or acquaintance. I'm not sure how to phrase that we met a long time ago at Chipper's Barbecue. A really nice lady. Really, really nice lady. She is super energetic and um, she does art and she writes poetry. She does stand up comedy. She sings. She's like basically everything in this bundle, this like ball of energy. She's, she's absolutely someone amazing. someone you meet once and you never forget. You never forget her. Uh, she's absolutely amazing. But um, I follow her on Instagram and Facebook. And she posted a thing about how her cat has been really sick lately and she thinks that she may have to put him down. And she has gone through um, depression a lot. She talks about it a lot, how she's gone through depression and certain times are harder than others, which is why she's so open on her social media platforms to let other people know they're not alone. And so that it lets her get those feelings out and then hopefully people will, you know, give energy back to her to help her kind of stay in the, in the, in the bright spots, if you will. And I'd seen her video about her cat. And yesterday I went to Whole Foods, again, while I was late and we didn't do the live stream. I went to Whole Foods and I went over to Publix because I needed to get a couple things at Publix. And I'm walking and out of nowhere, I see her and she and I like locked eyes at the exact same time. And she's like, oh my gosh, hi. And I was like, hi. And it's like, I haven't seen you in forever, which is true. We see each other on social media. We live in the same we place. We would see her more when we did the trivia. Yeah. And we'd see her at the beach every once in a while. And now it seems like we miss each other by like literally minutes or hours at most places. But I saw her and I gave her a hug and I asked her, I was like, she's like, how are you? I'm like, I'm great. How are you? And then I said, how's your cat? And I, I, I used her cat's name because I, you know, I paid attention and I wanted to use his name. And she's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking. And then at the end of us having our conversation and talking, I was, I was like, you know, they're waiting, um, they're waiting for me to get home with stuff and I got to grab a couple more things. I have other food in the car. It was great to see you. I got to run. And then as I turned to leave, she's like, see, that's a God wink. She called it a God wink. She goes, those moments where you need something and God's like, hold on, I got you. And then he sends, he sends Squirrel Tribe my way. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's the sweetest thing ever. Like it made me feel really good, but then it made me feel better that she felt better for, even if it was just a moment about what everything that she was going through. So the reason I'm telling you this is because 
people say all the time, you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You never know what somebody else is going through. And, you know, I'm sitting here being kind of a bitch talking about people running stop signs and whatever else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't call that being a bitch. No, okay. You can't call that being a bitch. No, 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 no. So I say it this way because there's videos out where, you know, people are running red lights, running stop signs, and they get pulled over by the police, and it's because they have a choking baby in the backseat. So it's always possible that I'm I'm saying something negative about somebody who's done something stupid, Uh, but maybe there's a reason behind it. That's an extreme. I know, but you you know what I'm saying. yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, but either way, no. you never know what somebody's going through. So if you have the ability to give somebody a smile or hold a door for somebody or just whatever, I think it's worth doing, especially this day and age. Pick up. That's all. It made me feel good that she felt good when, when we parted ways. I've never heard anybody say God wink before. I think it's just a matter of caring about people. Yeah. Even if you don't know them. Yeah, I generally care about most people. There's a lot of people that don't care about anybody. And just a small percentage of people who care about everybody yeah. will be so much better. I mean, there's times where I hold us up from leaving someplace because I'm like, I don't like what th- this looks like over here. There's I just want to stop and make sure the kid's fine, that lady's lady fine, that whatever's fine. vitamin shot. That was weird. Oh, yeah. So we went to go. Did I tell you guys? Did we tell them? I think we told them. We didn't. No, we. I didn't. I did. Uh, we. I, I told them about it. We didn't. Okay, I did. About the lady who couldn't make it into the door at Vitamin Shop, and I asked her if she was okay, and she's like, "No, not really," because she seemed like she was like super frail and whatever. And then she walks in and asks for electrolytes, like. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a it was a weird situation. I was, I was like, like at the gym the other day. I was like, but what? I was on the verge, ready to catch her in case something happened. But she's got a tissue in her hand, so I'm like, uh, I had to stalk really down know. that banana while you were in the bathroom. You didn't even know. I made eye contact with everybody. I was like, that sounds like the name of a video. Mm. Scarf down that banana while well, you didn't even know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we were at the gym, and he had, like, low blood sugar and had to eat a banana while I went to pee. Banana. Banana. But I kept working out. I pretended like everything was fine. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, sir. It's fine. Yesterday was the same way. We had a shake for breakfast and then didn't eat actual food uh, except for a banana at, like, 2 o'clock, and then the, the subs at 5. I had a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. <laughs> a non-sensible dinner, technically, because it was a sub from Publix. But That was fine. insure, right? Yeah. I think, it, was no, it insure? Insure? Sub? A shake for... No, no that's... Wait, that no, was, Weight that Watchers? Was, no, Jenny who, Craig. Who had the... I think it's Jenny Craig. A, wait, uh, a, a shake, shake for breakfast, breakfast a shake, shake for lunch, lunch, and a sensible dinner. I think you, that's Jenny I'm gonna Craig. I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you would have tried that, you would have died. Oh, yeah. There's not nearly enough calories. You would have been so angry calories. with your life. You'd be like, you would have drank that shake for breakfast, fired up your metabolism, been hangry till lunch, yeah. then had a little sip of taste, and then you wait for d- dinner for a Like... Yes, the only fast. reason why it worked is because you didn't eat. <laughs> and your anger it boiled so much fat off your body. Like, that's the only reason why. Like, that was a terrible idea. Yeah, it was horrible. And Slim Fast didn't even taste good. What does taste good is the transparent lab uh, stuff. If you really want to lose weight, eat more food. Eat more calories. So- no, 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 no. Not more calories, but just eat more. Eat more more often. You, you ever, you ever, you ever try to burn a campfire? Don't put the giant t- tree on that joker. Put, so chop that joker up and continuously burn So I'm glad we're having this conversation. Because remember before I told you guys we were doing the um, intermittent fasting from 11 to 7. And what would end up happening is we'd eat at 11 and I'd eat at 6 and nothing in the middle. And I know better. I fully know better. I've lost tons of weight in the past and I fully know better. For me, I need to snack every couple hours, small things every few hours, because if I do one and then another, then my body is like, "Mm, we should hold on to everything you're putting in us because we think that you are starving us. Or my dumb ass overeats on number two on the second one because I feel starved from all day long. So if I do breakfast now, then a shake, I'll eat maybe some some peppers and, and cucumbers and hummus, and then I'll eat a smaller dinner, it works out much better. I haven't jumped on the scale lately. I'm sure my weight is about the same because I'm building muscle and probably losing some fat, but things fit a little bit better right now. And so- Are you jumping on the scale naked? Yes. Okay. You have to. Otherwise, uh, yeah. And you have to c- continue with that. The same time. Yeah, same time. So I try, I was doing it up, on Mondays. Take a shit, get naked. Yes. It's oh, wait, always before- Wake up, get naked, then take a shit. I, I think pooping while you're fully naked is just awkward, just so we're all fully aware. Except for that one time where I had to That's because the only it was time like a hot flash or It's something. not because you don't need pockets. You don't need anywhere to put your phone because you have your phone in your hand. 
But it's still weird. Well, you're a guy with a girl with boobs just chilling. It's a little awkward. What if you didn't have boobs? Would it not be awkward? Okay, nipples out is awkward. How about that? Let's go that route. Nipples out is awkward. Everybody has nipples, Greg. <laughs> if you, you can milk a cat. What is that as a go? <laughs> Something about milking a cat. I don't remember how it went. So there's this country singer. I don't know her name. She's younger. She's fully tatted up. She's Shania badass Twain. looking. Un incorrect. F younger and tatted up. Fully incorrect on Shania Twain. Love her. Let's go, girls. Um, fully tatted up. She's Jason younger. Chicks. Stop it. No. Natalie. Portman. Nope. Natalie something. I don't remember her last name. Lil Debbie. Jason Chicks. Stop talking. So this chick realize that she has in her genetics the the genetics for breast cancer so she went ahead and made the executive decision to go ahead and get a double mastectomy she got everything removed nipples and everything removed and then she got implants and she says she feels awkward but she's really happy with what she did getting rid of all of her original breast tissue and getting implants instead i don't know if she got n fake nipples put on but i've seen um uh, tattoo artists who will tattoo fake nipples on people who've had mastectomies and had to get rid of stuff so that they still, when they see themselves in the mirror, they still feel whole or whatever else. Same thing. I saw somebody fake tattoo on a fingernail for somebody who had lost their fingernail. You see all kinds of stuff. Tattoo which artists is, are changing the world. Oh yeah. No, I agree with that. So Morgan, Morgan Wade, that's her name. Yes. So she got a double mastectomy because she said she'd rather be proactive than wake up one day with breast cancer. So she got everything, got rid of everything and then got implants. And my brain not fully understanding how this works is going, well, can't you still get some sort of cancer from the implants later on? Even if you got rid it's of the breast really tissue, cancer, it's just an illness. Yeah. Which is I'm still, so the reason I'm working out and trying to lose weight is so that hopefully next winter I can get these taken out? Vinter? Vinter? I'd like to not have these in me anymore. I'm sorry. I love you. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You can still motorboat. <laughs> You'll live. <laughs> but I'm tired of having them. They're like awkward at this age, this stage. And we've had this discussion before. It's on the, on the channel if you guys want to hear about that. But um, I, I saw that and I thought that was like extremely courageous as a woman when, especially when media and How men put so much that? emphasis on How far do you take that? What do you mean? With being proactive with, you know, how far do you take that? Where you're like, you know what, doc, I want to remove my colon. Like, how far do you take this if you know? Is this like a thing? Will this become a trend? A fad? Of removing things you know you could possibly have? Well, I mean. Because you also got the flip side of the recessive gene that, you know. Yeah. So it's like, well, you could have been the one in your family not to. Yeah. Or you could be the one in your family who randomly does. Like, yeah. is this going to be a thing? Well, Ma, if you're still here, I think my grandmother, my Nana, had a double mastectomy. I think she had breast cancer in one and had it removed and then diagnosed again like two years later on the other side and had it removed, double mastectomy. And then I don't know. I always know she had a chest when I hugged her, but I don't know if it was like a padded bra or if she had like the first, you know, implants. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't ever, I never had that conversation with her to figure it out. I just knew she had the originals removed because of cancer. So that's that. Is it blinding over there? No. Okay. I'm just not going to make any comments though. Why? This is not, I'm not going to do that. You don't want to talk about boobs? No, I just, just. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Would you talk about testicles instead? Yes. Would you remove both your testicles Nuts. if you knew? No. So testicular cancer is a thing. If you knew that that was an option. That you got to you... remove one. Lance Armstrong only removed one. And he still won a tour de France. Well, he was also on a lot of stuff. So there's that. Yeah. On a freaking trick. That's what he was on. So, but the question is, if you knew that you had the possibility, would you remove both just to be safe? No. You would just wait and see what happened? I would roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I really want to get to that age where my nuts touch the toilet water when I sit down. And if you remove them, that's never going to happen. And I'll never know what it would have been like to have to dry your nuts off when you're done pooping. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through TSA and my metal balls go off. And they'd be like, oh, my mom said double mastectomy one year apart, then had reconstruction and implants. That's what I thought. Okay. You don't want to have, well, I mean, you could put metal balls in there. What if you, every time you walk, you clank, like you had change in your pocket, but it was really metal balls in your nuts? No, I do it like Monty Python and have coconut sweat. Oh, so I'm never going there again because I'm allergic. 
is that, is that the dance? <laughs> Why is that? You never saw that movie? No. I've never seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail. They didn't have horses, so he just had coconuts. And the guys were like... And the guy here, he go... <laughs> no, I've never seen it. I feel like we should watch it later. It makes me think of Princess Bride when you do stuff like that, though, because Princess Bride is hilarious. Shouldn't. And what's the other one? Not one Princess black Bride. Member in that movie. I don't think there was one. So it shouldn't make you think of that. Well, because it's, it sounds doofy. Like Princess Bride is doofy. Mm, my name is. I see. No? Okay. Um, I don't know what Princess Bride is. My name is uh, Ig Ig Ignacio Mont. What is it? Ignacio Tony Montana. Mont no, Montoya. You killed Tony my father. Mo Prepare to die. Oh, Puss in Boots. Yeah, well, that's the t totally different person. That's um, used to be married to What's Her Face. This is not helpful at all. <laughs> um, what's his name? Antonio Banderas. <laughs> he is Puss in Boots. <laughs> he used to be married to Selma Hyatt? No, Melanie Griffith. Ha, got it. Melanie Griffith. Before, Kathy Griffith? After she was married to Don Johnson. I think I'm right here. I could be wrong. Hmm. My name is... And, and, and Diego Montoya, you kill my father, prepare to die. George Costanza brought, bought John Voight's Chrysler LeBaron. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Remember Chrysler LeBaron? That's what was in um, Daddy Do You Want Some Sausage? <laughs> Tom Green? Uh, what, was it, what was it called? What was the name of that movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the song Daddy Do You Want Some Sausage, which is really gross to think Whatever about. happened to that guy? Tom Green, he had cancer also. He was married to Drew Barrymore. Or as our child says, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. She puts Moore. weird emphasis on her last what name. What is he doing now? I don't know. Huh. They got divorced after he he had testicular cancer. I think he had testicular cancer. I don't know. But they got divorced and he is gone. So, anyway. <laughs> Marvin said, I used to be married to What's-Her-Face, too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody joked about That's the That's how lady. you have to refer to every ex, What's-Her-Face. <laughs> Somebody joked about the lady talking crap to the cop who got pulled over the golf cart. And mm -hmm. she goes... I used to be married to a cop. And they go, yeah, figures. Used to. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Ex husband to. says a lot. Ex husband says a lot. Yeah, there you go. All right, listen, y'all, I love you. We've kind of talked to you for too long already, and I got to cook dinner, and I'm hungry. So there's that. Thank you for not making balls this time. Last time you made balls, now you've made a heart. Hey, do it. All heart. All heart. Ta-da! With our powers combined. Now I want to go watch Planet uh, Captain Planet. Stop it. Isn't that his name? Captain Planet? Um, from boobs to nuts to barons. I would have been pissed right. if I was the guy who had Earth as the power ring. I would want fire for sure. Obviously. <laughs> Flame on. So, yeah, I would want Earth. No, not Earth. Fire, wind, or water. Earth and heart. I was like, dude. Earth? Those heart. are like the, the constellation like, you're, you're, prizes you're after. A Care Bear? Like, what's going <laughs> but on? But I here? love Care Bear. Sunshine Bear was my favorite. I had a Sunshine Bear and he got lost at some point, mother. I don't know what you ever did with my Sunshine Bear. He got lost from South Carolina to Georgia in the back of a, what was it, a Subaru wagon. I had a Sunshine Bear, Care Bear, and then I didn't. It was there <laughs> and then it wasn't. And I've remembered it for the, all of my entire life. I, will I might get, that might be, if I do one more tattoo, it might be Sunshine Bear. Did you see the one I sent you? I did, and now I'm like, I need to go redo my entire arm. That Joker was that so was, vivid? Yes. So there is a tattoo artist from Atlanta who watches me, and I don't know if it's on the other channel or this one, but she's got some legit skill. And I'm like, ma'am, may I come see you, please? Yeah. It was, she it was, she's it was, she DM'd epic. me one time. She's like, anytime you want to come in. And I was like, no, nah, I've got, you know, Layla. And now I'm like. It but was, I have so much more space on my body. It was epic. That, yeah. was, that was crazy. It yeah. was Mario Kart or something? Yeah, and it was all in color. It was really cool. So um, my mom said you left it somewhere probably. That feels like a cop-out for you saying you threw away my Care Bear and moving. <laughs> you left it somewhere probably. Okay, Ma. All That's right. a good movie title. You left it somewhere probably? <laughs> you want to make a movie? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I went into <laughs> dirty mode. You left it somewhere, probably. Anyway, y'all, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to go make spaghetti now, so this the kid will be I happy. Leave, this is where I leave this you. This is where I'll leave you. That's also what he said. No? no okay. That's a movie. It's actually a movie. I mean, it is a, it is a movie, but, you know, 45 minutes in, if you can't get it done, this is where I'll leave you. Fin you, you. You're good. Finish on your own.
<laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Not for you and I, but there's people out there who probably give up after a certain amount of time. Anyway, I love y'all immensely. I'm going to go cook dinner now, and we'll see you it's again. It's been 45 years. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> when we see each other. <laughs> y'all have a good night. Bye, guys. Deuces. Wait, I got to hit the X and then the